All right, week six statistics, so easy. Um, cumulative frequency. Basically, you're gonna get tables like this, where um, uh, they give you data, and I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with this. Okay, but then they tell you cumulative frequency. This is frequency. Cumulative frequency is like frequency on steroids. All right, so basically what it means is you start, but every time you go next, you add. So mathan in here, we start at 16. Then the next table, the cumulative frequency here, would be 29 plus 16, which is what? 45. Then next would be 45 plus 47, which is 92. So this is how you make your table. Then 92 plus 18, which is 110. Then 110 plus 10, which is 120. Now what's the thing? Is this cumulative frequency cool? You got it, but they want you to graph it. All right, so how do you graph? It's so easy, okay? I swear to God, so easy. Look, now we're going from what? From 16 to 120, Fine, let's go. Uh, we're gonna end at like 120. Let's make it 180, 60, 40, 20. All right. Anyways, and we're going from 10 to 80. If, uh, let's go. We start at zero. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Meshel hal. Yalla. How would the graph look? Awal you need to know. Okay. Each endpoint will have a point that has the y coordinate of the community frequency so my son we're gonna have 30 comma 16 then the end point here is what 40 what's the community frequency at this point 45 then we have 50 92 then we have 60 110 then we have 80 120 cool but all of this is nice but you need one more point and that's the starting point what are we starting at 10 the starting point will always have x coordinate of whatever you have here comma zero all right, so it's always this here, comma zero, and then the rest of them are the highest, uh, the upper, you know, whatever, the highest value with the community frequency. So how will this look? 10, zero, then 36. Now you're not required to graph, uh, but I just want to show you. Okay, then uh, for, uh, 40, 45. So it's going to be up here. All right, uh, and then uh, 50, 92. 92 is like here, uh, then 60, 110, and 110 is like here, or oh, 120. But it looks like this. Always, it looks like it's a curve that kind of looks like an S. Okay, it's always something like this. You get me? It goes up and then stabilizes. Usually, this is how it looks. It doesn't have to. It's not how it looks. Anyways, now how do this in the exam? It's have. You don't need shit here. They're not going to ask you to graph. So what's the point? Is that uh, they want you to... Uh, which po points does it pass through? So easy. How do you check? The first step, write your community frequencies. Okay. As I did here. And then check your points. 30, 16, true. 80, 120, 80, 120, true. So we could select this. 80, 10, is that correct? No, we said 80, 120. 30, 0, is that correct? No, we said 30, 16, right? Uh, 10 0 is correct because it's the first point, but 80 10 is that correct to have 80 10? No, we said 80 120. Wrong. 10 0 we said, 80 120 we said. Type. Perfect. Why is it 10 0 always? The first point you have here, uh, sorry, the first number will always be comma 0. Anyways, what's the best estimate for the 25th percentile? What's the best estimate for the 50th percentile? What's the best estimate for the 75th percentile? And what's the difference between the 75th percentile and 25th percentile? All right, for part B, they're asking for the 25th, 50th, and 75th percentile. Now, for this, you actually need to uh, you need to draw it, okay? For that's why, uh, I don't know why I raised the graph, but I'm going to draw it really quickly. I'll pause and draw it, okay? So, this is the graph over here. Now, using the graph, you can answer anything, but you can actually do this without drawing the graph. I'll show you how. Anyways, what's the 25th percentile? 25th percentile basically means 25% of your data. My data is uh, of your commuter frequency. Okay, how much is my community frequency? 120. So we do 25% of 120. If you don't know how to find 25% of 120 and you're in grade 12 S or L, uh, that's very uh, embarrassing. Okay, Thir 30, right? Type enter, you got 30. This 30 is your community frequency. Community frequency 30 falls where? It falls over here, right? Between 16 and 45. So it falls in this box here. Type, so that means your answer should be somewhere between 30 and 40. And that's just 36. Look at the choices. These are not, none of them are between 30 and 40, only 36. Okay, how can you tell from the graph? You go to 30, and you see, where does that cut the graph? Over here, at 36. Okay, so that's how you can use it using the graph. 
Five percent go fiftieth percentile, same thing. Uh fifty percent what do you do? Always five find the percentage of the commute frequency. So you get sixty. Where does the sixty fall? It falls between this box and this box, so it has to be between forty and fifty. Okay? And over here there's no other choices between forty and fifty other than forty three. So that works. Again in the graph, just do the same thing. Just go to sixty, cut the graph over here. Right? So that's forty three. All right, the 75th percentile will be uh, 90. Go, where do you have 90? You have 90 between this graph and this graph. So again, between 40 and 50. But 90 is really close to 92. So it's gonna be really close to what? 50. Why? Because now uh, we're in this box, right? We're really close to 92, so really close to the end. So we have to be at something closer to 50. Anyways, there's no two choices that are in between 40 and 50 other than 48 so we're just going to choose 48 anyways okay so the difference between the 75th percentile and 25th percentile represents the interquartile range of the data what is it just subtract 48 minus 36 so easy anytime they say interquartile range it means 75th percentile minus 25th percentile always do that okay uh question two um Uh, one morning, 200 employees were surveyed. Okay, what's the height of the shortest column in the histogram? I told you this is so easy. How do you find uh, the columns, the height of the column? It's just uh, frequency divided by width, right? Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's frequency divided by width. That gets you the height, right? So 46 divided by 10, 4.6. 58 divided by 5 is going to be, I don't know, 60 divided by 12, 12 11.6. Uh, 72 divided by 15. Uh, this is old, but yeah, 72 divided by 15. Um, uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Uh, just do them all, and you're gonna get the shortest one. Zero point eight. It's very straightforward. The range goes up to what? What's the time? What's the range? Range is max minus minimum. 60 minus 10, so 50. Question three. What's the height of the tallest bar? Same thing. Uh, you just divide this by uh, the width. This by width, this by width, you're gonna get 11.2. Now here, what's the model class? Model class is the one with the highest frequency density. All right, not frequency, frequency density. So you have to calculate it. Now, knowing that the height is 11.2, which one's 11.2? I think it's gonna be this one, uh, 56 divided by five. Uh, but it's this one, 11.2. So this is the model class here. How do you put it? You say 26 to 30, that's it, 26. 230 okay 26 to 30 not hard at all just copy 26 to 30 not the highest frequency okay horns uh, we got lucky it's the highest frequency but you take highest frequency density tell me uh, this one we did it before so I'm not gonna repeat it but again t uh, the height of the tallest bar you just divide okay this was in last week's last CA you divide this by the width this by the width the width is not 19 it's 20 in cases when you have dash, that means you have to add one to your width. You're, you're gonna get 19, you always add one to your width. Anyways, uh, so you get the highest of the uh, tallest bar is 1.9. Uh, which one is that? I think that's gonna be over here. How do you put it 151 to 170? So you took 151 to 170 in sale decimals. 151 to 170. Considering that 70 patients had systolic blood pressure readings above K, the best estimate is what? 120. Type. 70 patients above K. So what do you do? You go 70 patients from the left. Starts with 70. Here you take away 12. Here you take away 18. So I row 40 left. Take away 24. Uh, sorry, when they say above, they say above, that means you start from the right. Okay. Uh, 70 minus 8 is 62. So you have 62 left. 62 minus 38 is going to be uh, 36. It's going to be 24. Um, then 24 minus 24 is 0. So where did you reach? Over here. And how much is that? 120. So easy. Question 5. Again, it was old, but it's okay. This is all old, so I'm gonna just let you watch the old video. Okay, and uh, this is old. Uh, this is new. Let's do it quickly. So this is a biologist measured the length of 100 uh, whatever. And this is a community frequency graph, right? The curve. According to the graph, how many macarel are estimated to have a length of 34 centimeters? So easy, just go to 34. How much is that? 50. Uh, what? Only 45. 
I don't know why the answer is 45 لأنه بين length 34 centimeters or more I'm not blind so I'm getting 50 I don't know we'll check it I'll, I'll, I'll check it يعني um, anyways part B if 10 mccarrell have less uh, than m centimeters what's the value of m uh, let's see 10 mccarrell so you go here and you go you go to 10 and you go to the centimeter because you want to find centimeters how much is that 30 this is easy uh, the difference between the 75th percentile and 25th percentile represents the IQR given that the 25th percentile is 31.5 what is the estimated interquartile range? Type so, interquartile range means you need to do 75th minus 25th. 25th they gave it to us 31.5. How do you find 75th? You just find 0.75, 75% of the total frequency, which is 100. So you get 75. So you go to the 75th value. You need to find out what it is. So you go down. Oh, it's 36. So you do 36 minus 31.5, and you get 4.5. Easy. Uh, question eight. So easy. What's the fortieth percentile? So easy. Again, you just take forty percent of the total frequency, which is what one hundred fifty. Uh, I don't know what that is to be honest. Uh, Zero point four times one fifty. Sixty. So you go to sixty. You go to the graph. That's about oh my days. Shoe shaving and I have supersonic vision. How am I gonna see this, bro? 60 you go to the graph and you go down oh my god i can't see this for shit i actually can't see anything um but it should be 16 and i shave 16 i don't know how they got 15.5 uh so they accepted anything type and i shave 16 16 is correct anyways thank you so much for watching and good luck in your exam